Hello, I'm Hello Gabbyist and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. I encourage you to please subscribe and click that notification to notify you of new videos and don't forget to like this video. I wanted to make a quick video today on a very small Sephora haul. Sephora, obviously at the end of the year, Christmas season, they always have um, sales. And right now they are having a 20% off on certain items. Now before they did have, depending on the level of rewards that you're on, you could have had like 10, 15 or 20% off. So I am the top level, the rouge. So I was able to take advantage and get 20% off. And I purchased some of those things. So I've been holding some of these items for at least a month. And let me go ahead and start showing you. The first items are Sephora Cucumber Eye Masks and uh, these were $2.50 each. And these are obviously for soothing and depuffing. We all know we all use cucumber at one certain time, a serum or something like that. So these are Sephora brand and I just, you know, I've never used Sephora before. And I said, you know what, I'm gonna try these. Next, in the realm of cucumber, um, I had noticed that I also purchased some Peter Thomas Roth uh, Hydrogel eye patches. So these are supposed to be uh, cucumber detox patches, target under eyes, puffiness and wrinkles, and targets uh, crow's feet. So you're supposed to put these on for like 10 to 15 minutes and I want to open it and show you what they actually look like. Now this runs about $52. I know I did not pay $52 for this, but this is what the package looks like. It's very plain. And then inside it does have like a little spatula and it does have a cover so it won't um, you know, dry your patches. And it does have a nice, fresh cucumbery smell. And I just want to pull one just so you can see. So they're very gel like. I don't want to have it out too long because I don't want it to dry. I also purchased uh, this little supplement case. And this is also a Sephora uh, brand. This was $7. And what attracted me to purchase this was because I currently use like a little Hello Kitty a supplement uh, and vitamin little case, uh, but it only has four little compartments. This one, not only does it have like this faux leather casing, it's a gold, rose gold tone. It does have eight little compartments. And so I do take quite a few supplements. I do take calcium, very necessary, especially for women. Um, I do take my collagen pills. I take a cranberry pill and I also take a flaxseed oil pill. And this just helps me with, um, if I'm gonna be out for let's say more than a week, instead of just having the four little compartments that I have on my little Hello Kitty case, this is actually eight. And it's just very, very helpful for me to take my supplements every day. And so that is the reason why I purchased this little this little case and I just love it that it comes in this little uh, faux leather, rose gold leather case. So totally love it. So only $7, not bad. Next, I purchased a serum. This is not from Sephora, but this is a staple on my skincare regimen. I have used this for years and it helps, obviously we all know, is l -exorbic acid vitamin C. Now this one, it is from Timeless, 20% vitamin C and vitamin E and ferulic acid. So the vitamin C is an antioxidant that even skin tone and helps build collagen. So it also helps brighten the skin. The vitamin E and the ferulic acid help for the vitamin C not to oxidize so quickly. So for the ones that don't know, if you are buying a pure vitamin C serum, you need to use it like right away. So at the beginning, the vitamin C is going to be clear. But during time goes by, it's gonna start to darken up. So the way you can find, is this vitamin C a fresh vitamin C? What color is it? So know that at, right out of the package, this should be clear. Now I am currently still using the other one. It's about to finish. So I wanted to buy 
uh, the replacement for so I wouldn't have a day without my vitamin C so this serum is encapsulated obviously uh, in a container that's dark so light really won't be hitting it some of the vitamin C's that you see on the market do come in dark bottles because light is going to also increase the oxidation of the vitamin C so I do not want to um, pump this but just know that brand new uh, vitamin C's are clear and during time it's going to oxidize and that is how you know do you have a fresh vitamin C. So I purchased this for $18.17. It normally runs for $25.95. They had a special in the Timeless website and I have purchased this serum year after year and it's just made quite a difference. Remember, you must wear SPF every day. Vitamin C or not, you must wear SPF. So just remember that. And it also helps with maintaining the benefits that you're getting from this vitamin C. If you don't wear SPF, it's like, then why are you using it? But my timeless vitamin C serum. Next is an item that I have been wanting to try for quite a while. Uh, there are lip glosses and these are from Marc Jacob. I have always wanted to buy a Marc Jacob lip gloss. This one, uh, I remember there's this famous uh, YouTuber that pretty much made the shade Sugar Sugar Famous. Um, and uh, from that point, I really, really wanted to get my hands on one of these lip glosses. But for whatever reason, I just never got to. The shades for this box is Sugar Sugar and the other one is Pink Parade. Now, um, this is supposed to be Supreme Gloss Covetable Color Shine Like 30 Coats of Lacquer. I have never heard that before. I understand glosses shine, but this looks like uh, perhaps it's going to be a little thicker and may even stay a little longer. So I'm barely opening it up. I can't wait. So this is a mini set. And look at, oh, beautiful. So I definitely can't wait. So this is Sugar Sugar and this is the Pink Parade. And uh, these are just tiny enough to carry around in your purse. I absolutely love it. And I've always loved Marc Jacob packaging. So I finally got them. So I am so happy. I paid $14 for this little mini set. So I took advantage of the discounts again that Sephora was having. So this was $14. So lastly, I bought an eyeshadow palette. I have never used this brand and this brand is called Naked Urban Decay and I'm sure you've heard of it. There's like tons of palettes from Urban Decay and the reason why this is the heat palette and the reason why I wanted to buy this palette, this palette was $27 and I know that it runs like twice as more. So I was looking at it and they had like a like a the mini palette of the heat palette was t like $23.50 and then the regular one was $27. It was obviously on sale and I thought why don't I just buy the full size palette for like a couple dollars more. So that's what I did. And like I said, I've never used this brand before in eyeshadow. And let me just show you the packaging. It is just awesome. And in the back, this is a cardboard packing, but it's like the heat off tone floral, like rose pictures on it. Very nice. So this is what the back looks like. Of course, it's all plastic. And then, of course, all of the naked palettes come with their own eyeshadow brushes, which is a plus. But let me just show you. These are the eyeshadows. And these eyeshadows are warm. Um, they come to like light nudes and darker nudes, like brown reds. They have coppers um, and even dark brown. So there's quite a variety. There's some that are matte and there's some that are kind of have like a glitter to them. So I love that it has a great big mirror. Now this palette is very sturdy, just so you know. Obviously, it's not one of those typical cardboard palettes. This is an authentic plastic palette and it's 
you know, has quite a weight to it. As far as the eyeshadow brush that comes with it, they are all dual ended. And of course, one is like for eyeshadow and then it's the other one is like a crease brush. And it matches the palette, it's brown. So I cannot wait to use this palette. Um, honestly, I really thought it was gonna have some yellowish uh, tones to it and it does not. Um, but this is the palette totally love it and i think that it was totally worth it i forgot to tell you i also purchased an anastasia eyebrow pencil and this is the brow width so this is the very thinnest thinnest pencil and i do get it in dark brown now purchasing this eye pencil i noticed that it's just making it a little easier for me to put uh, my eyebrows on I struggle with putting on my eyebrows and having this little slim pencil is just helpful for me uh, to maybe make little light strokes it's just very 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 thin so of course it has a spoolie on one end and then you know you'll have the pencil on the other but this is a very very thin pencil and it just helps me for making just little strokes and to like get it just right i never get it perfect trust me and i'm always trying to perfect them and trying to get them uh as equal as i can it never happens but this at least helps me out of all of the eyebrow pencils this is the one that i gravitate towards to buying over and over because it just helps me with putting my eyebrow so this is the last and this was $21.14 and it's originally I think like $27 $25 or $27 so this is my mini beauty haul towards the end of the year I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you enjoyed this video please give this video a thumbs up also if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that bell notification to notify you of when I upload a new video I wish you a happy new year and please stay safe during this pandemic Great day.